The science behind electric radiant floor heating is simple. Electric heating coils warm the floor surface, which effectively create a low temperature radiator. I want to talk to you guys about electric radiant heat mats. Once you have designed your bathroom and you understand your floor plan, it's time to think about heat. There's a lot of companies out there and, and you're not sure which one to choose from. You want to make sure that you choose a company that is the best overall product for your needs. And I recently came across this company, Warm Up, and they have a brand new product called Sticky Mat. It's an electric floor heating mat system. I especially like the installation speed and efficiency the Sticky Mat system provides. The Sticky Mat system is a three foot wide mesh, and, and the, it's a fiber mat that is extremely durable and designed especially to be put underneath tile and stone. The Sticky Mats have a thin dual floral polymer coated heated wire. It's a heating wire that basically it measures one eighth of an inch across the mat in serpentine fashion. And the, the one eighth inch thickness does not negatively impact floor heights, which is really nice. The mats also have a dual adhesive double sided tape as well as pressure sensitive adhesive on the whole entire mesh. The adhesive allows the mat to adhere to the subfloor and that results in a fast installation. And that's why I liked it. The mats can be repositioned numerous times without losing the adhesive. And like I said, they come in three foot wide mats, but you can get them in three, five, six, eight, and 10 feet long. And some of the first steps you might want to think about if you're going to do this, just like the old carpentry saying, measure twice, cut once, you, you need to make sure that you measure your room several times. And I suggest that you draw it out on paper. It just helps lay it out for you. The heating mats, they come with a cold power uh, cord that's 10 feet long. So you want to make sure that you lay out your floor heating so that that 10 foot cord can make it to wherever your thermostat is going. You want to make sure that you do not run under appliances, permanent fixtures, vanities, cabinets, tubs, or showers. And here's a good tip for you for measuring. I like to measure wall to wall and then I deduct three inches from that measurement and that's what I use. That gives me wiggle room, but it also eliminates three-quarter baseboard trim and a few other rods and ends. It allows you to reposition the mat. Choosing your thermostat location. The warm-up electric radiant heat mat systems are all designed for programmable thermostat to work you know, in conjunction together. The thermostats operate and, and provide a more effective heating system, especially allowing you to kind of pick and choose when you want to heat and when you want it not to work. There's three tips that I recommend you guys do. Make sure that your thermostat is five feet off the floor and always on an inside wall. Don't place it near any heating sources like a window that might heat up the thermostat or a skylight that might put a lot of sun and generate heat or near a towel warmer and because all of those things can negatively affect the temperature. And Make sure that you install, I like to install a dedicated 15 amp circuit. Sometimes I even go with a 20 amp circuit. Talk about the subfloor. You want to make sure that you inspect your subfloor for damaged debris and sharp objects. If you have nails or screws that are, that are, the heads are protruding, you want to countersink them and make sure that it's completely smooth. One major benefit to installing the warm up sticky mat is that it will not dramatically change your floor height. We talked about that eighth inch cable. Floor heights come into for basically concerning me when you get to the doors to other rooms. You want to make sure they have nice smooth transitions. I want you guys to consider thermal subfloor insulation and that's basically goes underneath your heating element and did you guys know that using thermal installation thermal insulation with your floor heat will result in your floor reaching operating temperature much much faster. According to warm up heat up times with floor insulation it's going to cut you down from two and a half hours to 25 minutes. That's huge. A lot of contractors do not use thermal insulation when installing radiant heating. And that's a big mistake. And I know it's a big mistake because I was one of them. And the reason why, I just simply didn't know. I didn't know that using thermal install insulation makes your system heat up faster and prevents heat loss from below. It, it makes sense. I just never really put much thought into it until I started doing all this and researching it. 
Warm-up insulation boards can be used also as tile backer board and underlayment. You can use it on concrete slabs and wood, wood subfloors. The thermal ins insulation boards help reflect that heat upward. It prevents heat loss from the subfloor or cold slab. And it provides 92% thermal break from cold subfloors. And again, huge. It's going to ensure that your floor heating system operates at the highest and most efficient levels. A couple of key points if you're thinking about installing these warm-up insulation boards. First of all, they, are, they increase efficiency, and like I said, they cut that, that heat up time by almost 90%. They're strong and flexible. They're one quarter inch thick, and they're made from extruded polystyrene and coated with fiberglass and concrete. Super strong. High thermal insulation, and again, creating that break, that thermal break between the cold subfloor. Best part is you can cut it with a utility knife, and the boards measure two by four by a quarter inch thick. They come in boxes of four, which is 48 square feet. Kind of helps you figure that stuff out. And warm up will ship it right to your house or job site. Depending on the cost of the electricity and the price of these boards, payback time is between a year and seven months and two years and one month. They're inorganic, waterproof, and they are inhospitable to mold. So think about that. Great for, for bathrooms. Let's talk about the sticky mats. They can be installed on subfloors, concrete slabs, and on backer board thermal insulation. They're simple and they, they just roll right out. All you have to do is remove the adhesive tape that covers them and press them firmly down on the insulation boards and you install them with the cables up. The thermostat sensor also needs to be installed 12 inches into the heating area between the cables. Once that's ready to go, you cover, your, you cover with thinset. One note though, and here's where you save time. If you're using the thermal insulation boards, you do not have to embed your mat in thinset. You can simply just stick it down on the subfloor and that saves a huge step. Um, a couple of tips I want to share with you because I learned a lot about this while I was doing these installations. Take some photos of your installation for future remodeling reference. Check your ohms before, during, and after your installation. And the value of the ohm should match the rating on the label of your mat. And this, they allow a tolerance plus or minus 5 degrees. Uh, percent. Sorry, The floor sensor sometimes is too high. It actually sticks up. And you, you have to make a channel in your subfloor so that you can get it flush. And basically, I used a utility knife. I cut out the, the, the insulation board and I recessed it in with some tape. It works perfect. You want to make sure you dry fit your mat and use a black uh, magic marker to kind of lay it out so you have reference. And if you need to move or turn it, cut and turn as needed prior to putting it down with the, with the, the two-sided tape. If you have any loose wires because you're maneuvering things, use some tape to keep the loose wires down. And do not cross your wires at any time and do not get your power lead or your sensor to touch the, the heating cables. You're going to have bad results with that. Probably the most attractive advantage of warm-up sticky mats is that they have over the competitors is how easy and how fast it is to install, especially when you eliminate that thin set step that you that you normally have to take. Frankly, if you're not using thermal insulation board, you're wasting energy as well, and you're not heating efficiency. So consider that. Overall, I was impressed with the warm-up sticky mat system, and probably for the following reasons: one, easy to install; they heat up 90% faster when you use the thermal insulation board as a system. It's going to save you energy and put more heat into the room. They measure less than an eighth inch tall, so it doesn't impact those floor heights that we talked about. Super durable, sturdy mesh fiber mat mesh with a double-sided tape. And the um, installation is just incredibly fast. You roll it out easy. You can uh, The wires are all pre-spaced for easy and even heating. And you can also reposition it. You can lift the tape up, reposition it several times without it losing its adhesive capabilities. My dealings with Warm Up Incorporated overall was basically through the phone calls and emails. I found them responsive to my request and I thought they communicated well. Uh, they delivered their product fast. The, the, it was a simple and painless experience. Relationships are important in my business, folks, and relationships with folks who can tr you trust and deliver what they promise is paramount. So, if you're thinking about installing tile or stone on your next remodel, now is not the time to get cold feet. Check out the warm-ups sticky mat system. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time. Take care.